Hi, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. Sometimes you may need to take screenshot of a particular portion of your computer screen for which you need a good tool. There are plenty of third party applications that are available online for taking screenshot on Windows. The one that I use myself works well on Windows 7 and 8. To learn more, watch this video. There are two types of tools that I normally use for taking screenshot on Windows. One is the snipping tool which is available by default for which go to start, all programs, accessories and then click on snipping tool. This may not be available in the home basic version. Select the portion for which you want to take screenshot. You can try out various tools. You can click on the highlighter and choose the color of the pen. You can also customize it by choosing the color. Let's say lime. OK. You can draw whatever you want to draw. Similarly, you can go and erase one, any one of these and save it on your desktop. Well, if you are looking at a more advanced tool for taking print screen, then you should try out tiny take for which go to tinytake.com download. Now this tool works on windows seven and windows eight. Click on download. Now, once you start the download and do the installation of this application, you will see a shortcut appearing on your toolbar by the name tiny take another shortcut will appear on your desktop tiny take mangoes to start using tiny take click on this tiny take icon appearing on the desktop let's say i want to capture a particular portion of this web page for which i need to click on capture region select the region using your mouse the moment you release it this window will open. There are multiple things that you can perform in terms of editing this particular image. These tools can add value to the screenshot that you have taken. For example, you can draw a rectangle, something like this. Similarly, you can go and draw arrows to the text that you have highlighted, something like this. Now, if you want to increase the thickness of the border, you can do that by Click on clicking on this button, it will increase the thickness. Similarly, you can increase the thickness of this rectangle as well. You can check out other editing tools. For example, if you want to draw a text, click on this capital A icon, draw text. This is a tech guide. You can change the font color by this tool. You can then go and blur a particular portion of the screenshot by clicking on this tool here. If you want to save the document locally on your system, then click on this menu and click on save locally. Save locally. You can choose the image type that you want to use, for example, JPEG or PNG. Test, new, desktop, save. This is the print skin that has got saved. If you want to save and share this document, click on save and share. You need to create your account here for which you can click on create an account and follow the easy steps. After your account is created, enter your email ID, your password and login. This is the home page where you can see all the images and the videos that you have uploaded on the cloud. Tiny tech provides up to one GB of free space to see the utilize space. Click on this downward arrow and go to settings. You can see 1000 KB out of 1 GB has been used. You can try out and other options go to advanced. You can change the default location for storing your images or videos locally by clicking on this change button and then clicking on OK. This tool provides other options as well. For example, you can capture a window, capture full screen, capture a video. You can also capture video from a webcam and you can also share an existing image with anyone on the cloud. Let me now capture this complete window by clicking on capture window. Click anywhere on the screen and then go to save and share. Since I am already logged in, it's saving the document on the cloud. I can copy this link and share with anyone over an email. Alternatively, I can view all my uploads by clicking on this view all my uploads. Click on this menu from the top. You can email this as an attachment or as a link. You can also take print of this image. 
the biggest advantage of using this tool tiny take is that you can access your images and videos from any computer system using your tiny take user id credentials i hope you enjoyed watching this video do put in your comments below also don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and thanks for watching